Our next guest is Oshawa Bourne and has become a legendary rock and roll photographer to the stars. He is none other than John Rollins. John, welcome to daytime. Well, thank you. Good to be here. You were born in Oshawa yeah. and now you are this amazing photographer that's toured with, I'm telling you, the top bands. We're talking about the Beatles as one of them. Tell us about some of these other amazing bands you've, you've toured well, with and taken uh, photographs for. It, it just came out of a sheer interest in music and I got that from my father and and followed my heart and uh, uh, followed the charts and, and everything that he used to play on the radio when he uh, uh, did his radio show here and uh, got it together with taking pictures of these people collecting them if you will and uh, it, it evolved from Brenda Lee to the Beatles Sam Cooke uh, Rolling Stones the who yada 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 forever and uh, now I've got a about two and a half million negs and slides and digital files from 57 years of shooting. So. Well, we you brought four with you today that I want to take a look at. Let's take a look at this first picture, the Beatles. What was this day like? Do you remember this one? Well, it's uh, August 1965. I'm wow. uh, I'm 18 years old, 17 and a half, 18 years old. I'd met George between shows, and this is a, a press conference shot, and uh, they were seated in a row. And I didn't like it. It wasn't a nice composition for my taste. I said, George, could you ask John to stand up? We'd get bunched together for a better shot. <laughs> and he did that, and the first thing he did was look into my camera. So Ringo's also in the in the picture, but the crop doesn't show it. But uh, it's, a, it's a great shot in 1965, you know, and everybody looks at it and goes, wow, they were young. Yeah. Isn't that something? And let's take a look at the next one. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a, a crop shot too of uh, David Bowie's The Archer. And uh, I saw it in Montreal on the tour and said, here's where I've got to be tomorrow night in Toronto. I found that position 30 feet out from the stage and shot the picture. I showed it to David. Uh, on that tour, I had a dark room in my hotel room. You processed the film, made contact sheets, and the next morning I'd have breakfast with David. He'd look at the contact sheets and he named it the Archer and I, I'm finding out all the background about the Spanish Civil War and two statues in Spain called the Archer. So the Archer photograph followed his history in, in the Spanish Civil War of these two statues. That is remarkable. Yeah. Is this one of the photographs that you'll be showing at the David Bowie tribute. Yes. Bowie lives. Yes. Yeah. So people can come and see some of your work that's coming up. I we we have a, we have a few uh, uh, samples to sell and uh, and basically and maybe a, a couple of minutes to say hello uh, from the stage. But uh, yeah, it's uh, David is uh, will live on through his music, his reputation, and, and his photography. And, and you had the chance to sit down with him and have him name one of your pictures. That yeah. is incredible. I had 19 breakfasts with him on that tour. So. Oh my <laughs> goodness, what a life! So I want to show the next picture as well so we can talk about what we have up next tell us about this this is uh, slash at blues fest in ottawa where i used to live and uh a uh, very accommodating guy, Saul Hudson, fabulous guitar player, down-to-earth, nice guy. I have pictures of him with James Burton, Elvis uh, Presley's last guitar player, good friend. And uh, just, uh, you know, for the image that he portrays, your imagination go crazy, but underneath it all, a very nice, compassionate, good guy. You know? Oh, my goodness. I'm sure you have stories galore. Let's take a look. We have one more picture. I want to make sure we get to it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've known Willie since 1971 when he was clean cut, and wearing leathers and stuff like that, the Horseshoe Tavern in Toronto, and uh, drawing sellout crowds to a, an okay level, but uh, very sad because he'd had to sell uh, crazy to Patsy Cline's uh, husband all the rights mm. because he needed $500. And uh, that's, I think, probably where the Whiskey River came from, you know. But uh, we'd sit there and have a beer and a whiskey and, and talk for hours. And then I, I, I followed his whole career. So. How was it? We only about 15 seconds left. How was it that you made contact to be able to be their photographer? Working initially for the record companies, once I had access to talk to management and stuff like that, I'd 
tell them background, show them uh, samples if needed, and then uh, start working for them personally or for their management company. So. What an amazing life, and it all started with your birth right here in Oshawa. <laughs> Man, you bet it did. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> thank you. And up next, we have Debbie Miles Sr. from Side by Side. We'll be right back. And that's so fun. You sat down. I didn't realize that he named the picture. Yeah.